but we can start now. My name is Paul Hudding. I'm Leisure Services Director for the City of Waterloo. And I uh, want to welcome you all here tonight. I can't believe we have sunshine. The wind has calmed down a little bit. It's a beautiful day. And it's a great day for Waterloo. We've got a, a really cool place to open up here. So today's our chance to celebrate and to thank those who've made this new skate park come to life. Uh, originally, the Riverside Skate Park was over there in this park, down river a piece or up river a piece, and it was destroyed twice by the Cedar River flooding. FEMA covered repairs to that skate park in 2008 or after the 2008 flood, uh, but they did it once and once only. So after the 2016 flood, we sat for four years without a skate park. However, we had a lot of support locally to uh, get going with something new and something even better. So as we sit, saw support from the Otto Schweitz Foundation and Blockout County Gaming Association and the Cedar Loose Skate Park Association, we started raising funds and began the design process. We had a public input session on a very cold January night. I think it was record cold for the city of Waterloo. It was like 30 below uh, at the Sportsplex. We had a good turnout. Um, and Vince Bonell of the Spawn Ranch Company ran that. Um, Vince is an Iowa guy but he's in Los Angeles now and he, he runs the, the company that built this. It's called Spawn Ranch Skate Park Tour. Uh, he couldn't be here today because he has a new addition to his family, but he has a few words he just asked me to, to read to you. And here comes the wind. I spoke too soon. So this from Vince, thanks. Thank you to the city of Waterloo and its skateboarding community for placing your trust in me. Iowa is the state that raised me and it will always hold a special place in my heart. So the responsibility of creating your new skate park wasn't just a job, it was a privilege. You could have taken the easy way out by just repairing your existing wood ramps, but you saw the vision and understood that when properly funded, designed and built, you can create a far more, you can create far more than a skate park. You can create a vibrant community gathering place. I've been tagged in a number of videos over the past few weeks, and while the tricks have certainly been impressive, what I've enjoyed most is seeing the high fives and the beaming smiles. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've created a state-of-the-art home for future generations of Iowa skateboarders and wheel sports athletes, and I couldn't be more proud. Thank you from Vince O'Neill and the Spawn Ranch family. So, uh, thanks to our friends here from Blackhawk County Gaming Association, the Scheutz Foundation, and the Skate Park Association. We're here today to celebrate our new park. I want to give a special thanks to our commissioners, our city council, and mayor for supporting this project and for allocating the matching funds. Thanks to the leisure services staff, especially Travis Nichols. I think Travis is here somewhere if he wants to wave his hand. Travis is the project manager. He's the one who saw to it that this thing happened, did all the uh, specs and had, had the fun of getting everything shepherded through and, and did a fine job with it. I think as late as today, he was overseeing a little last minute construction work here. So, uh, thanks also to Bowers Masonry who did some additional concrete work kind of where I'm standing here and to Matthias Landscaping for the hydro seating around the area. And thanks to the Public Works Department for some help with our parking lot. With that, I'm going to turn this over to our chair, the Leisure, Service and Co Leisure Services Commission Chair, Brenda Durham. Brenda? Good evening, everyone. I'm really excited to be here, and um, I, I will keep it short and sweet. I, I want to thank Paul and his staff, Travis and everyone for all the time and effort that they put into this. I know as a commissioner, we met a lot of months and um, to talk about this project. So it was a long time coming and it's very exciting. I need to recognize um, my fellow commissioners, as Paul mentioned, I'm Brenda Durban. 
Uh, also here, if you want, if you want to give a wave, you can, or you know, do whatever you want to do to be recognized. We have Bob Danzi here tonight as a commissioner. Tom Christensen, Tom Powers, and also on the commission is Sharon Samick, and I don't know if she's here. Jaden Spencer. So um, I really appreciate the time and effort that all the commissioners give month in and month out, and I'm just super excited that this uh, new skate park has come to our community. With that, I'm going to turn it over to our skateboarding mayor. Mayor, <laughs> I'll turn it over to you. submitted that or we did this it was a really it was a really embarrassing time because sometimes you can't necessarily tell the story but you can only show the result and so I'm so thankful today to see everything behind me I'm so thankful to leisure services to our city staff and Paul is one of those leaders that probably um, doesn't toot his own horn but has done incredible, significant work. So can we give Paul a round of applause? But I wanted to say that um, um, things like this have an incredible way of bringing people together from all around the community. Because who would have thought that uh, Brian and I uh, would actually have gone from merely arguing about something that probably happened into the community, but actually working together to be partners, to work with city staff and work with uh, who I call my skateboarding brothers right now and sisters, to actually make this project a reality. Whenever someone doubted the progress that was taking place, Travis and Paul can tell you, Brian was out there saying, no, the city's going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to make this happen. They were out there actually fundraising, trying to raise funds, to help make sure that this is a reality. So it's incredible to see today where we're at from whence we come. I'm very proud of this moment and this opportunity. I'm also um, wanting to have the first official uh, City of Waterloo, like the City of Waterloo State Park. I didn't run this through the City Council. <laughs> but that is our official skateboard. Without further ado, thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to the ribbon cutting. And if I love to have the chance right now to introduce Mr. Brian Helmricks, who is the Cedar Valley Lou Skate Park Association president or czar or whatever we want to call it. <laughs> All right, come on up. Uh, I'm going to take this thing off because it's a little easier to clear. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank uh, my brothers in arms from the Cedar Loose Skateboard Association. Uh, board members Marcus Steinhauer, where you at? Present. Uh, Matt Christman, Mr. Josh Pakey, uh, Mason Wise, who couldn't be here today, and Lucas Johnson. Also, former board members uh, Danny Shea and Alexa Lehman, who couldn't be here today. Uh, without Danny, I'd probably still just be complaining online. So, thank you, Danny. <laughs> Uh, I also want to thank our mayor, our city council, uh, former co councilman Tom Powers, who was also very essential in getting this off the ground. I uh, also want to thank Travis and Paul, uh, especially Travis, for dealing with my messages pretty much every day for the last three years. Uh, the mayor alluded to this. It is a good day. It's a great day for Waterloo. Uh, this is a place where people from all sorts of diverse economic, religious, economic, uh, philosophical backgrounds come together. Uh, we may not all like each other, but we are a tribe. I think it also highlights, uh, while none of us are wealthy big shots or anything like that, all it takes is for people in their community to band together. If you want something from your community, find those who agree with you. 
band together and go ask for what you want. Um, outside of that, I just want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank uh, Choice Foundation, Black Hawk Gaming, everybody who came together and made this a reality. Thank you all. Storm here. Um, Mike McCrary is with us. He's co president of the Ribbon Cutting Committee. <laughs> uh, before I bring Mike up here, and he has a few words to say, I want to recognize council, our councilwoman over here, Margaret Klein, is here. Do we have other council members here? I would like to recognize them. Dave Bozen, of course, is here. Do we have others? Okay, I don't want to miss anyone. Thank you for being here and thank you for supporting us. Mike, it's your mic. I don't want to miss but there's a really cool rainbow going on right over there. Look over your shoulder. I'm not going to say it's like a sign from God or anything, but here we are. So, <laughs> we're, uh, everybody in purple, we're the ambassadors of Grove Cedar Valley, and we get the privilege coming around and helping to celebrate the important things that are going on in our community, whether it be a new business, a business expansion, or something like this that's just really from and for the community. So we're thrilled to be here. Uh, we're going to cut a ribbon in just a minute. We invite y'all to kind of come over this way. Um, it's really impressive to hear everything that goes into this. You know, I don't skate, so I drive by and I go, what's that? To hear all of the hard work that went into it is really impressive. I'm just, I'm just super thrilled to be part of it, as I, I know all of the ambassadors are. So thanks for having us, and we'll go cut a ribbon. Thank you. 